Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Alia and if you are new, this channel is mainly about contemplation and reflection. Reflection about what? Reflection about life, the laws of the universe, the law of attraction, the spirituality and of course some Islamic teachings so that we can reflect on that too. Uh, and there is another part uh, dedicated to the Arabic language and the Egyptian dialect and culture. So if you are interested in any of the above and you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And about today's video, today we are going to speak about something that some of the spiritualists are talking about which is the thing that we knew about before we were born and we now forgot about it uh, does it really exist and uh, does islam say anything about this thing if you are curious to know then please keep on watching okay so as usual when i find different people talking about different things and saying different things about the same topic and I want to know which of them is true uh, if any what I usually do is that I go back to a reference a standard something that I can compare everything to and this standard should be unchanged something that is unchanged throughout the years I cannot actually take science as my standard because as you know science change and science uh, is constantly changing from one era or one age to the other but the thing that have never changed as you know is the quran and the hadith of the prophet peace be upon him they never change so for me they are my standards and so i found out that actually there is a verse in the quran it's one verse in the quran that talks about something that not only we um we knew about before we were born but also we testified on it and uh, and then we forgot about that so what is this thing this is what we are going to know next so i'm going to say now the verse i'm going to say the meaning of the verse in english translation and it says and recall when your lord took from the children of Adam, from their backs, their descendants, us, and made them testify on themselves. And it continues, am I not your Lord? So as you can see, this is the rhetorical question or the covenant that uh, God did with us. He made us testify on ourselves and he said, am I not your Lord? And look here in the wordings it's it's a it's in a form of a rhetorical question instead of saying i am your lord like in a teaching way or a teaching style no it's it's a rhetorical question and as you know the rhetorical questions we usually use in order to say uh in order to confirm or affirm something that was known from before that is already known so this is what happens am i not your lord and look how we responded they said yes we have testified so we responded that yes we testify that you are our lord uh, and then the verse continues lest you should say on the day of resurrection indeed we were of this unaware so god is telling us that some people are going to uh, say on the day of resurrection oh we didn't know about this we were unaware of of your existence we we were unaware of this no one told us so this is the verse that i found so from here you can understand you can see perfectly that that indeed uh, there is something that we knew before we were born because this is what god says here that that he took from Adam so that was before we were born and the hadith there are like uh, some hadith uh, four or five hadith talking about this and elaborating giving more details about this um, about this verse 
And it says that when, when, uh, when, uh, when God created Adam and he accepted his repentance, what happened is that he rubbed the back of Adam and extracted all the souls from the backbone of Adam uh, until the day of judgment. So all the souls from the beginning until the, the day of judgment were there. And then God made this covenant with us. And he said, am I not your Lord? And we all the souls, we testified that yes. And of course, we forgot. So this is, uh, of course, I summarized all the meanings of the Ahadith so that the video wouldn't be so long. Uh, if you want more elaboration about that, please leave me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you had any value out of this video, then please hit the like button and share the video with others so that they can also get the chance to contemplate and to reflect about this. And I really would like to know uh, your views and your opinions in the comments below. Uh, if you like the content of the channel, and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and to hit the bell button beside the subscribe button so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.